Welcome everyone, I'm Brent Testerman with CFM Company. In this video, you will learn how to set up BACnet MSTP in the Eclipse Bypass for the ACH580 drive. Please be aware if you're working on an ABB ACH580 base drive, Dash 01, or a drive with a package disconnect, a Dash PCR or a Dash PDR, the BACnet MSTP is configured through the primary settings menu of the main control panel. To learn more about the basics of BACnet MSTP and how to program the ACH580 base drive, please watch the video, Quick Setup of BACnet on the ACH580. Warning, obey the instructions provided in the IONM shipped with this drive. If you ignore them, injury or death or damage to the equipment can occur. Before removing the front cover of the ABB ACH580, disconnect the power to the drive. Lock out and tag out the circuit disconnect and make sure that reconnection is not possible. Always wait for five minutes to let the intermediate circuit capacitors discharge before you continue. Remove the front cover to expose the control terminals. On drives with an Eclipse bypass, the serial communications wires will be landed on the horizontal terminal on the bypass control unit, RBCU. Connect the positive network wire to terminal 27. In our example, this is the white wire. Connect the negative network wire to terminal 28. In our example, this is the black wire. For three wire communication networks, connect the optional reference wire to terminal 29. Note that the network wire shield is not landed to the bypass control unit. The wire shield should be twisted together and taped to prevent contact with other conductors. Terminate the shield only at the ground terminal in the building automation controller. The bypass control unit, RBCU, includes a dip switch used to configure the serial communications termination resistors. To reduce noise on the serial communications network, terminate the EIA-485 network using 120 ohm resistors at both ends of the network. Use the dip switches to connect or disconnect the onboard termination resistors. Both switches must be positioned in the on or off position to correctly configure the termination resistors. Each device on the network needs to have a unique MAC address and instance ID. Ask the building automation contractor for a list of addresses for all the drives on the project. You will also need to know the network baud rate. For this video, we will use the instance ID of 105812, where the last two digits of the instance ID is also the MAC address. The network baud rate will be 76.8 kilobits per second. Once the communication wires are landed, secure the Eclipse bypass cover and apply power to the drive. Remember that all programming for BACnet on drives that include the Eclipse bypass is performed using the bypass control panel. Press Enter. Use the down arrow to highlight the parameter list menu. Press Enter. Use the up arrow to highlight group 98 options. Press Enter to select. Parameter 9802 COM protocol is shown. Press Enter to edit. The screen will show brackets indicating that the value can be changed. Use the up arrow to select option 5, BACnet. Press Enter to save the selection. The information for this example shows that the last two digits of the instance ID will be the local address. The local address can also be referred to as the MAC address, the station ID, or the device address. The local ID is not always the last two digits of the instance ID. It can be a unique number between 1 and 256. To program the drive MAC ID, press Escape to exit group 98. Press the up arrow to highlight group 58 drive EFB. Press Enter to select. Use the down arrow to highlight parameter 5803 DV MAC ID. Press Enter to edit. Use the down arrow to decrease the value. A long press of the down arrow will change the cursor from 1's to 10's place on the display. A quick shortcut to change the MAC ID value to 1 is to press both the down arrow and the up arrow at the same time. The value will instantly change to 1. Then press the up arrow to increase the value. Change the value to 12. Press Enter to save. Next is baud rate. The default is 38.4K. In our example, the baud rate is 76.8K. Press the down arrow to parameter 5804 baud rate. Press Enter to edit. Press the up arrow to change the value to 76.8K and press Enter to save. Next is the device object ID. Remember that the device object ID needs to be unique across all BACnet devices in the building network. 
In the Eclipse Bypass, the instance ID can be a value between 1 and 4,194,303. Because this number has the potential to be very large, it must be split into two parts. If the number is between 1 and 65,535, the whole number can be entered into parameter 5840. If the number is greater than 65,535, then it must be split into two parts, a lower part and a higher part. For this video, the instance ID, or object ID, is 105812. Since this number is greater than 65,535, it must be split into two parts. Splitting the number into two parts is easy. First, use the four digits from the right. In our example, these are digits 5, 8, 1, and 2. On the Eclipse control panel, navigate to parameter 5840 DVOB ID L and press Enter to edit the value. Use the up arrow to increase the value. Holding the up arrow longer will shift the cursor from the 1s to the 10s to the hundreds to the thousandths place. Waiting or not pressing the up arrow or the down arrow will cause the cursor to shift back down from the thousands to the hundreds to the tens to the ones place. Once the correct value of 5812 is entered, press enter to save. Next, enter the drive's object ID high value. The object ID high value will be the remaining digits to the left of 5812, which is 10. Navigate down to parameter 5899 DV OB ID H and press enter to edit. Use the up arrow to enter 10. Press enter to save the value. Once the BACnet parameters are programmed, the drive must be power cycled. Simply turn off the power to the drive enclosure by using the main disconnect. Allow both the Eclipse control panel and the drive control panel to go black. This can take a few minutes. Once both displays are blank, apply power to the drive. The new BACnet settings will now be active. Not covered in this video, the Eclipse Bypass does include diagnostics parameters. Parameter 5807, DV status. Parameter 5808, DV OK message. Parameter 5811, UART error. Parameter 5812, DV CRC error. These parameters can help to confirm proper communication with the building automation system and help with troubleshooting communication issues. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit cfmcompany.com to learn more about each of the manufacturers we represent.